Hi guys, it's Kyle here from TechNet Africa and today we're reviewing the Acer Aspire V5 572G. To keep up with the premium look of Ultrabooks nowadays, Acer uses a simple but nonetheless appealing plastic base case for the Aspire V5. The black brush metal finish found on all surfaces further increases the utility of the case by reducing the visibility of fingerprints, even if it falls short of doing the same for dust. It weighs only 2 kilograms as opposed to the 2.3 kilograms that the previous models used to weigh. The V5 572G stands out by being very thin at less than 25 millimeters thick. The display lid's chassis twists marginally, makes a random clicking noise when moving and has rather stiff hinges. Despite the stiff hinges, it is possible to lift the lid with one hand. The rest of the notebook is generally well built. The Aspire screen is great compared to other models in this price range. Brightness levels are above average and the display appears crisp even though it has a rather low pixel density. Being a glossy glare type display, the V5 screen proved to be inadequate for outdoor use. Despite this, the display generally provides a rather pleasant viewing experience. The Acer V5 surprised me with a comfortable typing experience. It proved to be precise across the entire keyboard. The keys have low travel and emit minimal noise. The Aspire V5 572G uses an Elantic touchpad located on the left half of the wrist rest. The touch surface has dimensions of 10.4 by 7.9 cm and supports modern multi-touch features such as pinch to zoom and two-fingered scrolling. It has precision and ease of movement so long as the user's hands are dry. I found that when my fingers were moist they would get stuck on the touchpad and the pointer would move around randomly. I also found that it did not have precise clicking ability. The Aspire V5 572G model that we tested had an Ivory Bridge Core i5 1.8GHz dual core CPU and 6GB of RAM, which is more than adequate for everyday tasks. It scored an admirable pass mark of 1726.5 on performance test. The 1TB hard drive has sequential reads and writes topping out at 110MB per second, which is very good. The NVIDIA GeForce GT 720M is an entry-level DirectX 11 compatible graphics card that should cope with modern games with graphic detail set somewhere in between low and medium. The Aspire V5 572G's combination of sophisticated power-saving hardware and NVIDIA Optimus technology allows the Ultra Slim Notebook to be frugal in terms of power consumption. The 4-cell lithium polymer battery lasted just short of 6 hours with the notebook being used in an everyday manner. With the Wi-Fi and keyboard backlight turned on and the screen backlight set to auto. The learning curve of moving from Windows 7 to Windows 8 is fairly steep as a lot has changed. The lack of a dedicated start button is one of the biggest frustrations. Initially I met Windows 8 with some hesitation but over the past few weeks I've slowly moved towards liking it. The Metro design is the best part of the Windows 8 experience to me and on the downside I dislike the desktop version of Windows 8 because it feels so disjointed from the Metro start screen. The lack of a touch screen on the Aspire V5 572G makes the Windows 8 experience a little frustrating as most of the apps in the Windows Store have been designed for a touch enabled device. The Acer Aspire V5 572G is a superb ultrabook and if you are in the market for a reasonably priced laptop then this is definitely the right choice. My only gripe with this machine is the frustrating touchpad and the lack of a touchscreen. Other than that I would highly recommend it to anyone. It scores a decent 8.5 out of 10 from us. Follow us on Google Plus, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys, see you next week.